Happy Monday, Friday Night Live. I mean, Friday Night. <laughs> Happy Monday Night Live. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> I've been passing out candy, so I'm a little loopy, I guess. What do I have? A little chocolate high there. I only ate one piece, so that's not too bad. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. Let me see if I can get my comments. Hi, Anne. Welcome. Yay. Hello, everyone. So, tonight, we're doing this beautiful armored seahorse. I just think it's so pretty. This is the one that I did for a test sample. And here's the one we're doing tonight. A little bit bigger. Same uh, image. Hi, Lori. Thank you. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Come on in. So I did this with these four colors, mainly these three, just a little bit of this green around the eye here, and a black pen, a white pen, and that's it, and these brushes, and these brushes are new to my shop, and they are amazing, you guys. I just have to tell you, they have, this is an acrylic um, handle, and it's, it's so beautiful, it's like Aurora holographic. I don't know if you can even see that, but they're beautiful shimmery, but the brushes are amazing This is nail brushes, of course, because you know, I love those But this one is what I painted this with and it holds a point quite nicely for it being a semi round It's a an oval I don't know if you can see that so it's like a not a flat Anyways, this is what they use to do gel and acrylic nails with, and it's kind of like a cat's tongue, but a little fatter this way, right? So, also these two are, it comes with two of these cat's tongue brushes, and this is a little glitter brush. You can pick up glitter and tap it on that way. I love this brush so much. And then it comes with the three liner brushes, that are that I usually carry and they if they see how it flares out a bit if that when you get them wet they go right back to a perfect point so and then this is one of my funny pens it's just the liner pen and this is my white pen these are a dollar these are two these are in the store all of this is in the store this crystal I mean, uh, acrylic uh, brush holder. I have a few of them. If you're interested, let me know. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to offer them in the store yet or give them away or what we're going to do with them. But they're kind of nice to keep your, especially if you're working with glue, you know, UV products or whatever, to keep it off of your surface. So it's quite nice. Anyhow. That's enough of me blabber chatting, right? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be using these two tonight, so I'm going to put those away. And we'll be, I don't think I'm going to use this one either. Unless I do some glitter, I might. I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Jen and Allison. Hello, everyone. Hi, Karen. And Patty. Catch up. Hi, Heather. And Vicki. Hello. So, Allison and Heather, thank you for watching from over the pond. It's quite late there. You'll have to tell us, remind me what time it is over there. So, this is the original image. This was my mock-up. I don't think I did too bad. <laughs> and these colors will be available shortly. I'm working on making them again right now so within the next few weeks uh, maybe a little longer I'm not sure about dry time um, within the next month the Istanbul turquoise I believe this is either lemon yellow or primary yellow I'm not positive positive. Um, and then it will also have the Rubens orange and the purple those will all be in the tropical uh, Sun, I think it's Tropical Sunrise set, and um, I believe they're going to be um, in quarter pans. 
because I didn't buy tons of it. So I'll make them in quarter pans so we can spread the love. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Mall, mall. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. All right, I'm going to start painting. So I'm going to use that lovely... I'm going to call it a cat's tongue, even though it's a, an acrylic brush. And I did not get my paints prepped with any water or anything, so I'm just going to use water on my brush so you guys can see. These particular paints are super pigmented, super easy to activate. You don't need hardly any, just a tiny bit to get... Um, some serious color going. I'm going to move that out of the way. Right. The Thank you, Din. Yeah. Um, I just meant it's for acrylic, like doing acrylic nails. So it's fatter this way. Generally, cat's tongues are... Let me grab my big one. Well... They're usually, this is a huge one, so this doesn't even count, but they're like usually flatter this way. Anyways, the kids are coming in, so you're going to hear that, and it's okay, it's Halloween, we're all having a good time. Okay. So I'm going to start here. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Oh my word. Here we go with the zoom again. I shouldn't play with it. <laughs> we'll just go with that for a while. See how much pigment? It's so pigmented. I like this has to be my favorite color. And then I'll be rinsing and um, dabbing off the water from my brush and removing some of the color. And that will give us our highlights. Now, when I prepped my rock, sorry about that. When I prepped my rock, there we go. Um, I used Liquitex. Matte medium liquid and Montmartre uh, clear texture gesso. And this is a tissue print decoupaged on my rock. You can totally just trace or freehand or whatever you know you like to do. I really am enjoying using this little um, time saver. So, because uh, it's for me, it's you know I trace anyway, so it doesn't matter how the image gets on my rock. I'm going to um, go with that. So, I know that a lot of you don't decoupage, and you're not too much you're not in love with it so just ignore that but if you would like to learn how to decoupage um, your tissue image or print it I do have a very short tutorial on that and after the live I will link it in the description all right I'm gonna rinse and dab off And then remove some of this 
color and give ourselves some highlights. So it's just a, a rinsed brush that's not dry, it's damp, and I'm basically dabbing up some of the water drying up, or drying up some of the color to get the highlights that I want. Hi Lisa, I see your question. Lisa's asking how do we prevent wrinkles um, when you apply the tissue paper? And I can show you really quick. I just happen to have an extra one here. So mainly how you do that is by cutting closely. You want to cut out your image uh, very close. I'm not going to fussy cut this one, but anyways, you get as close as you can and try to, don't, you know, go over the lines, but try to get as close to them as possible. I'm not going to do the whole thing here, but you want to remove as much of the tissue as you can, and that helps a ton uh, when you're applying it. So I'm just going to quickly go about this part real quick. And if you guys like tissue prints but don't want to deal with it, I will make them for you. Just There is a listing in the store you can do. I don't remember what I broke it down to, but you can do up to 10. And you can order more than 10 if you want. Um, and it's not too bad of a price. So. I don't have a lot of images, so if you have images you want me to print, you can send those to me as well. So, I think, let me grab a rock. I'm going to use the back of my turkey. <laughs> I don't know if it'll fit, but almost. Let's see. Pretty close, yeah. Um, let's see here. So what I do is use the Liquitex Matte Medium and apply just a bit with a... Where did my brush go? There it is. I just use a really cheap kind of throwaway uh, brush and I make sure that's damp, not sloppy wet and get the rock nice and wet and that Liquitex uh, spread around pretty evenly. Not, not a lot of it, just a little bit. And then you put your tissue on where you want it and then with dry hands kind of put down your edges like that and this is the part that helps with the wrinkles so you can let that dry for a bit or you can go in right now with another coat of Liquitex and an even drier brush and this is where you'll notice it wrinkles a bit so you can put on that 
Liquitex and then take your finger and smooth those wrinkles out. Don't pull, just kind of go with the wrinkle. So I don't know if you can see this wrinkle right here. See this? That one right there. So if you just go with it right on top of it, it'll just get it right out. And your wrinkles are gone. And then just make sure your Liquitex is, you know, blended out nice and smooth. And then let that dry for probably at least an hour before you use it. You know, make sure all your edges are, are down and whatnot. Once this is dry also, um, I like to put a coat of gesso on. Um, to give, it's because I use watercolor. If you don't use watercolor, it might not be necessary. You can use absorbent ground as well. I'm going to use a little bit of, just to, absorbent ground, is, or, um, just is very thick, so this is clear, too. That's important. Otherwise, you'll paint right over your image. <laughs> so it's better to wait until your other one is completely dry. Oops, see, I just tore it. Don't be me. Wait until it's completely dry before you put your gesso on because it's a little heavier bodied. Anyways, that's how we do it. And I'm going to take this off because the other side of my rock is my turkey. So, but that's how I do it. Then you would let it all dry. And rinse that off real quick and we'll get back to business turkey turkey gobble 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 happy Halloween I love Halloween and you guys my son has the coolest costume he said he wanted to be a unicorn for Halloween and we had a costume you know kind of picked out but he waited too long to firm up on it so um we were going to teach him a lesson, you know, by buying him a costume that, you know, would maybe embarrass him. Oh, that sounds silly, but <laughs> he takes things like that well. So anyways, and he loved it. It's a blow up um, unicorn, like a um, unicorn, and he's the rider. So the unicorn, he has reins and stuff and he's riding. It is hilarious. I'm going to post a... Um, in the in my on my Facebook page, I'm gonna post a little video of him in his costume. If you want to see that, you can head over to my page on Facebook. That's the Foiling Rock Lady or Wanda Michelle Rodriguez, and um, it'll be in both of those places. <laughs> yeah, finger painting. Yes, back to work. So, um, on our painting, I'm going to fold this in half and work because it's such a big picture. Um, you'll see there's lighter and darker values in the painting. So I'm just using water and the brush to create that look with one color. And it's basically where you let the watercolor pool is where you'll get your darker values. So you can see the, see on the chest there, the lighter bits and then the darker bits. So here I have laid down my color and now I've rinsed my brush and blotted it on a towel. And I'm just gonna take up some of this side to get that lighter value. And then if you want more on the darker side, you can drop that in there too. Well, you want to work with it while it's still wet, you know. Oh, no. Oh, nettles. Yeah, that's, that's a... 
that's kind of a hot plant. They have those out here too. <laughs> Ooh, stinging nettles plant makes good tea, but ow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Bambi. Sorry about that, Heather. How do, what do you do for nettle stings? Katie. <laughs> Hi. Hi, friend. Hey, happy anniversary. So we got to sing happy anniversary to Katie. Okay, ready? Happy anniversary, baby. YouTube's a little nicer to me about singing. <laughs> Also, guys, I might, I think I'm going to actually stop doing my dark color and switch over to the yellow because you should do your light colors first with watercolor painting um, to save yourself some grief. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and do it the right way. Let me change over to the yellow. And... So this is yellow ochre, regular, it's either lemon or primary yellow. And um, this one is from the Fire Element set. And this is from the Tropical Sunrise. And this is from Earth. But I'm only using it for the eye, so you really don't even need. You could actually, actually, let's do that. We'll just call it a three color thing. We're going to make our own green by mixing the yellow with some of the Istanbul turquoise and we'll make our own green. There you go. The yellow and blue make green. Now we have a pretty green color for the eye in a bit. So we'll make our own green. All right? And I will be doing, in the future, I'm not going to teach color theory because it's very stressful for me. <laughs> I don't like color theory. I don't like rules. But um, I'm going to be releasing the primaries if I can find some good, good primaries. We're going to make the three colors, the red, yellow, and the blue for the primaries. And those are going to be in oxide pigments. And then we're going to learn how to mix colors. And that's on the agenda for 2023. So it'll be coming out soon. All right, switching gears here. So I'm going to drop in the yellow, and then we're going to be using the yellow ochre to give some shading. So the reason I switched over to the yellow is because when you work with that dark color first, which I went backwards, I should have started with the yellow, um, and they touch, you'll make green. <laughs> so it will pull that blue into the yellow. So we're going to try to stop that by working from light to dark.
Thank you. Oh, Miss Katie, girlfriend. Woohoo! Thank you very much, friend. Thank you. The bell is a thank you for um, giving me a tip. And those are called uh, super thanks or, is that right? Super thanks? <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Super chat. Um, thank you, Katie. That was super cool. I think it's super thanks. Ah, Lori! Thank you! Thank you very much! Oh, ladies! It's ladies' night! I'll start singing for the bell. Or for <laughs> I will sing for tips! <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you. I like that little character. What is that? A pear? <laughs> Lori's got a green pear and Katie's got a, a dancing lemon. I love it. Thank you. So this uh, design is really, really very simple. Like I said, it's just two colors mainly. And then I use the yellow ochre for... Um, the shading so so easy to do <laughs> no pickle I didn't see a pickle nope there might be one I don't know what you can pick <laughs> aww tips for tips <laughs> I like it <laughs> And if you missed the beginning, I did, uh, I showed the brush set that I'm using today, um, which is available in the store, the Etsy store. Um, I believe it's eight, eight piece, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven piece set. You got all seven. Awesome. Lisa! <laughs> Thank you. You guys are keeping me on my toes. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Yay. Now I can afford to replenish all the candy. <laughs> Thank you. Aw. You guys make me feel so special. What'd you miss? Oh, the beginning? Okay. So, I was showing the brushes. There's, um, we're going to call it a cat's tongue, which is what I'm using to paint, um, our cute armored seahorse. And this is actually, it's a really cool brush, and they're made for nails and, um, you know, to do acrylic or gel UV nails. So it's a little thicker than a cat's tongue, but it comes to a very nice point, which is perfect for watercolor. And it's thirsty, so it holds a lot of water, or you can just dab it on a paper towel and it uh, releases water nicely. So it's actually pretty kind of perfect for <laughs> what I use brushes for. So, Anyways, I, um, I didn't buy a ton of these brushes because I wasn't sure, you know, what I was going to do with them if I was going to like them. But I loved them so much that I put it in a second order. <laughs> so, yay. And they're gorgeous. I mean, they feel good in the hand, too. So, right now, I'm just blocking in yellow. Not worrying about dark, light, values, any of that. Just blocking in my yellow. 
see here, this is why I stopped with the blue. See there? And went on to do the yellow because it will definitely um, bleed. That's okay too, but that's not the look I want for my seahorse tonight. Connie, oh girl, thank you. It's late, it's night, and I'm feeling right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys just like to ring my bell, don't you? <laughs> thank you, Connie, so much. Thank you. Uh-oh, what do you say, Katie? All your brushes are getting destroyed by glue? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Like nail foil glue? That's weird because these brushes are made to work with that. Are you using um, alcohol to release it? We need to get some monomer so that we have that on hand, too. Monomer is what they use with acrylic to, um, they mix it with the acrylic to activate it, but it's also kind of nice to use for your brush. Kind of loosens up glue and UV products and acrylic and stuff like that. I was watching um, a tutorial on fixing your brushes when they've gotten stiff from products and um, the way they did it was boiled some water and then put um, just the brush part you don't want to go into the ferrule which is where the brush is bound together underneath um, I forgot what this part is called <laughs> anyways underneath this part of your brush you don't want to dip it down in there because it'll loosen up that glue but you just get the brush wet in the hot boiling water. Not a, it just a, it's hot from a boil. Anyways, you put it in there and let it sit for a minute. And then you take it out and put it in your monomer. And that uh, loosens everything up. So, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Almost done with the yellow bits. <laughs> I like your little fox, Connie. <laughs> He's a little giggling fox. How cute. Okay, now I have these three here.
Tum, tum, tum. Okay, then we're going to use some of the ochre. And if we're looking at our example, okay, so we know that there is a section of this horn. Oops, I had some water on my brush. Draw that up. That has a little dark shadow there, so I put that in. Of course, my flash is making this to where you can't see what I'm doing. Let me see if I can turn off my flash. No, my flash wasn't even on. Holy moly. There, that's a little better, huh? Is it too dark? You guys tell me. And we're going to work out here. Hey, Betty, thank you. And this is going to be weird because it's on top of watercolor, so it's going to look very separated, but we're going to actually blend them together by re-wetting all of this yellow again. I'm going to tra change brushes. So I'm reactivating my yellow, and then that will blend our colors together. So you see there, you get this nice blend. You just want to be careful of your blue because you don't want to make green. I'm just dropping in a little more dark. Jen, thank you. Like it's my birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. Thanks, Jen. Boy, Katie, you need to have anniversaries more often. <laughs> Did they say it's my birthday? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry if it says that. My bad. I, it's it's not my birthday. It's Halloween. Oh, I apologize if it says that. <laughs> oh, joke. Okay. I was like, oh, no, no, I feel bad. <laughs>
Nice blend there, pretty. And then I'm gonna darken it up even some more right at the line. I'm just letting it pool really dark right here we can get that deep dark color in there I know. Thanks, Lori. I know I was so excited. Thank you, Lori, for the record. Lori picked this out. This is Lori's pick. Um, thank you for the recommendation. And, you know, I was like, I think I can do this with just these two colors because, you know, what a great challenge and teaching, you know, a way to teach uh, values, highlights, lowlights with just the colors you're working with. And just end some of the dark uh, in the blue back in there. Right. So we've got some of the ochre here too. So I've dropped some of the dark in and now I'm reactivating the yellow to blend the area. I think I'm going to have to turn my light back on guys because I can't see. But I think you got the idea right. I hope. <laughs> okay.
Hmm. Oops. I wasn't liking how it was pooling, too. If you don't like a thing, keep working it. Yay, I love this. All right, I'm gonna reactivate this down here now so we can work with it. And I'm gonna flip over my seahorse so we can see this part. Yay, I like that. Oh, I love your photos. Deborah takes such pretty photos, sunset photos. So does Lori. A, a lot of you guys are so talented with cameras. I am not. <laughs> I am not. Thanks, Jen. It's kind of like um, just a play with the colors, you know, you're using them for, it's like another trick or a hack or a cheat <laughs> to use one color to blend the other color. So then you don't have to do any fancy, you know, brush work like with smudgy brushes or anything. And you get a nice blend.
and it really is the brushes doing the work because it's I'm telling you this set is pretty dang cool does a lot of the work for you I need to be excused just for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, if that. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sort of stuck in my chair because I'm still wobbly, but thank you. I gotta change chairs. Sorry about that. You guys are so nice to put up with me. If I sit too long, then I can't walk. So, that's where I'm at with the healing process from the fall, I think. Or whenever that was. Oh, that's better. Okay. It's funny, I have a walker in the seat, and my walker seems to be the most comfortable, and it's the hardest, which I find weird. Ugh. Oh, I slipped in, or I didn't slip. I was trying to get out of the way of a moving truck in the parking lot at our gas station across the street. And I tripped over my own feet and I was terrified because I thought the truck was going to hit me. So I just fell on my left hip femur area. And they said it's not broken, but holy moly. <laughs> It hurts. It smarts pretty good. Alright, switching colors. Back to the Istanbul turquoise. I think I'm going to do another. Yep, I'm going to do it again. Sorry. <laughs> I just want it better. How about that? Okay, then we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and use a different brush to remove and do the highlight. So looking over here, we're going to take some color out here. That's just a dry, a uh, damp brush that I'm pulling color out with. Okay. 
No, white, just a dry brush. Not dry, but damp. I like that. See, if you mess with it too much, <laughs> you can go too far. in there. Leave it alone. Hi, Phyllis. Oh, sorry, Phyllis. Yeah, Mondays are on YouTube. Sorry about that. Oops. See if I can. Nice. Okay, not too bad. And then I'm going to draw up some of this color down here. Aw, thank you. Hugs to you, too. Thanks, Ann. All right, I'm going to my liner brush to do these little spots down here. Actually, let me see what if this will turn green. If not, I might... Good. Not too bad.
See if you let it dry really well, but sometimes you can avoid reactivating by not using too wet of paint. Because if it was too wet, this would totally be turning green. Haha, <laughs> you like my tray? Cool. Send me a PM. It's um, actually a brush holder. See that? It holds your brushes and it has a couple of little mixing spots. It's technically for UV nail products, but it's a perfect little mixing spot. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so good to hear, Katie. Jeremy's laps were excellent today, she says. Yay! Sorry guys, I got stuck on the tree there. I'm so sorry. Oh, Lori, thank you. Yes, please, you guys. Please, please, please hit the like button. <laughs> if you like what you're seeing here. If you enjoyed the live or any of my tutorials that like button helps my channel a whole bunch it helps to find me too because if you're not you know very popular your channels not doing very well you don't rank very high in the search engine so it uh, makes a big difference if you hit that like button also subscribing helps me a ton too the more attention I get, the easier I am to find. So show me some attention. Hi Gail, welcome, hello Kathleen,
You know what? That is so true. You guys, listen. Go right now over to Katie's channel. And you can get there by clicking on her name in this, in the chat there. That'll take you to Katie's channel, uh, rockin.kk, on YouTube. And help her get to a 1,000 so that she can do lives on YouTube. Because you have to have 1,000 members, or subscribers. Um, before you can go live on YouTube. So help Katie to get to 1,000 and we can do uh, some Katie lives. She'll do, I'm sure, you know, Katie's got her own channel. She has a lot planned. So Miss Awesome Katie Bugs. I bet you guys thought this wasn't going to take very long, huh? So who's painting with me tonight? I know Bonita is. Are you on Bonita? And I want to say guys, if you can send out some loving hugs to our friend Bonita. She just needs a hug. <laughs> you guys are awesome.
Bonita is doing two paintings tonight. She's working on this one and the Myrmacorn. That's what I named it, right? Myrmacorn? Myrmacorn? Yeah. <laughs> oh, ring my bell. <gasps> Who was it? Who'd I miss? Who'd I miss? I'm so sorry. Vicky! Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank, thank you again, Vicky. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the funniest face. Look at that cute. Keep it up. Thank you, Vicky. Twice. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Jen, for letting me see. Sometimes the comments go by so fast I didn't see it. Thank you. Woohoo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys sure know how to make a girl feel loved. I feel loved anyways, but thank you. I am in a zone. <laughs> yes, I know. I gotta look up every once in a while, see what y'all are up to. And I'm not in the auto zone. <laughs> my car needs to be though. Whew, my poor baby. I drive a very old car. Not very old, but, you know, 15 years old. <laughs> and I've been the only owner, so it's just had my love for the last 15 years. And it's, you know, it's worn out. It's a Nissan Altima. And it has been the absolute best car. Phyllis Mitchell. Woohoo! Number one fan. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bonita. Oh my gosh. You guys are going to have me crying in a minute. Oh my God, Bonita. Thank you. I have another number one fan. I like those little jumping. I think they're pears, but they're so cute. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yep, there's the sniffle. Sorry, can't help it. <laughs> oh, Vicky. And Vicky, Vicky's on round three. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's a cute lemon head. I don't know if you guys can see this. When you guys do the super thanks, I don't know if you're picking the little uh, emojis or whatever they are, but they're so cool. So cute. Thank you. It's a giggling lemon head. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I am removing some of the colors for the highlights so that way you don't need to use a white. Matter of fact, in traditional watercolor, I'm not going to say it's frowned upon, but it's not popular to use white. So they use um, training basically uh, for they use the white of their background for highlighting and all that business. I'm not, you know, a professional watercolor artist, but I do love watercolor, obviously. Lisa, 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 oh, do you guys see it? Look at that. It's, are those hippopotamus, it? hippo, <laughs> so cute. 
Out comes the scraper. Uh-oh. <laughs> we do. Did I make a boo-boo? <laughs> right. So I'm just removing some of the color so I can get the highlights. We got the laughing fox again. Woo! Thank you so much. <laughs> what a cool Halloween, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> There's the sniffle. Sorry. <laughs> you guys. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm seeing some places that I missed with the yellow um, or the ochre on the shading. So I'm going to come back in with those. <laughs> I know there's no cry. If I cry, I'm going to ruin my watercolor. <laughs> okay, I'll try not to get sniffly. liking it. Sorry about the doors. <laughs> Rounding up the children. My child from trick-or-treating. Had the cutest costume. Mom, he's a very big 12-year-old boy. He's all, like 5 foot 10. And um, he has a blow-up unicorn <laughs> that he ride. It's a ride. He's riding on. A unicorn. That's his costume. It's so cute. It's not the right brush. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> Whoops, I keep doing that. Yay, saved. So back here, these are darker on the lower portion
so lucky I got okay. and I'm gonna go in with a lighter application more water and blend that together trying to kind of grab some of that look there just by using water to influence the highlights and the shadows I know I like using white too, but today's technique, this, this tutorial was more about the technique. I love using white too. It's easy. This is, you know, so it, say you're out, you just wanted to paint while you're out and about and you didn't have, a, you know, white with you. You could do it by subtracting or adding water with watercolor. You know, Darcy, that's a good question. I don't know. I Maybe. You know, they have printers that you can work yourself there. So, I think if... Um, I don't know, though, if they let you open them and feed the paper through at all. I'm not certain that's a good question.
Hi, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Vicky is definitely my biggest tissue print um, fan. So she would definitely have good feedback on that. Thank you so much. The thing I don't have is a ton, ton of images. So if you guys want special images, you need to send them to me so that I can um, prepare them for tissues. They have to have, you know, they have to be um, edited. Phyllis, thank you. Thank you so much. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> thank you, Phyllis. <laughs> oh, no. See? Now I did make a boo-boo. You saw it. But that's okay. Because water's a great fix some boo boo. I just, it's damn bull turquoise is very staining, so I need to get there. And of course, I don't have any swabs at the moment, so let me see if I can get it with my finger. You guys just want to see me use the scraper tool, don't you? <laughs> Oh, not too bad. I'll let that dry and then we will touch it up. Cool. Right, we're getting closer here. Oh, Lisa. Isn't that blue pretty? <laughs> the porcelain blue? Yes. If you're wondering what a porcelain blue shot, it's part of the macaroon, macaroon, macaroon shot. grab it real quick and I don't have mine labeled but I do believe it is this one yeah not pretty that's the porcelain blue and this one is forget-me-nots
they are awesome and they are great blenders too like you can use these have titanium white in them so they actually blend really well so you can see it when they're not shaken you can see that the titanium separates from my the pigment so you got to really shake them to activate them but that titanium white will work in your favor when you're blending Alright, we'll let that dry. While that's drying, I'm going to try to make this eye a little more green. I'm sorry, you can't see it here. I'm just grabbing some of the yellow. I'm going to grab some of the green glitter from the Halloween set. The shimmer. Ah, come out of there. Yeah, it's glued in there forever. <laughs> I didn't activate this at all, so it'll probably take it a few minutes. I'll just let that sit there. Okay, so scraper tool, <laughs> we will be using that. Yes, we will. If I could find mine. Here it is. Oh dear, I did it again. Yeah, we're going to live on the scraper tool tonight. Now, if you've decoupaged, you want to be careful doing this because you can tear your image if you didn't fussy cut it super close. So right here, I'm cutting off a little piece of the image with my very, very sharp tool. And you can't even see what I'm doing. Gosh, I'm terrible. Did it again. So I cut off a little section of this image. See here? This is the image. Just getting rid of that. And then when it dries, I'll sand that down with my little square. My buffer square is around here somewhere. <laughs> but I'll show you here on this part what I just did. So the, my image is close, but it's still on top of it. So I'm going to cut the image right here. And then scrape off. And this is super duper sharp.
I have done, and I'm terrible at it. It will fussy cut, yes, absolutely. But I, I'm not steady enough for it. <laughs> so I do better with handheld scissors. All right, I'm grabbing some of that green for the eye. With my paint, if they have glitter in them, you really, really, really want to let them activate well and then stir your paint to get that glitter to mix and come up. I'm just going to paint the whole part and then we'll put the black back. All right, we are going to do our pens now. And I'm going to start with the black. And this is just a black from my um, character pens, just the fine liners. Uh, these shots are the macaroon, and I think, am I out of those? I might be out of those already, but if I am, they'll be back soon. I'm trying to replenish all the shots right now. Oh, the Istanbul turquoise is part of, yes, part of the Tropical Sunrise set, which is being made now. You, very good, Phyllis. You got it. <laughs> It will be out soon. Gonna do some geometric drawing here real quick, which I'm no good at, but Oops. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm terrible at pens, you know that. I should get my brush out and line this, but with my brush, I don't know why, but I'm better with the brush and ink or paint for lining. The pens are great, but I may be too shaky. Okay, guys, what do you think? I think I'm going to change over to the ink. Sorry. It's bugging me. But that'll give me a chance to use another new brush that I haven't used yet. This one. The real skinny long one. Part of the set, the new set. So I am using black, all right, then you just had it, <laughs> Taylor Rowney, Dollar Rowney, Taylor, Dollar, I don't know, I, I think it's just all the years of makeup artistry, but man, pens, <laughs> pens and I don't get along very well. 
Oops, I may have to go down a size in the brush just because this might be too long. Yep. Maybe not. Yeah, it's going to be too long. Alright, going down a size to the medium. Between these little spikies. Okay, we're getting there. Sorry, I get quiet. <laughs> you do. Pardon me. I didn't use anything from the macaroon shots tonight, but uh, Lisa had um, brought them up, so I pulled up the two she was talking about. Yay. Give this girl some eyelashes. You know, because.
Oh dear. <laughs> Here I go again. Sorry, I'm not good with the pinch zoom thing. Holy moly, sorry. Sherry, thank you. Good night. So I'm kind of splitting it up when I'm lining. <laughs> I know, zoom, sorry. I would go in again, but then, you know, it'll be so close. Anyway, so I do like a half. So I start out here, come around, and then up, and then stop there, and then grab the bottom, and connect to it and that kind of breaks up the curve so you don't have to keep turning your rock or your hand just kind of works with it It does, Jen. Definitely. It feels way more natural to go in one direction when you're lining. So work with it. If you're good at going up, then make your turns and your moves and keep it flowing naturally. And then try not to put your hand in your work. <laughs> so I'm leaning but not on the rock. And with the liner brushes, the more pressure you apply, oops, see, <laughs> the fatter the line. The less pressure you apply, the thinner the line. So if you want a thicker line, you lay that brush down and it'll give you a thicker line. When I say lay it down, you push until it lays down. And we're just going to have a blob of ink here because, yeah, oh well. It's all good. Not the end of the world, right? <laughs> right. this way I'm not the best liner with anything brush or pen but I'm definitely I feel I'm better with the brush 
Maybe, Jen. That's that's a great question. Jen's saying she's wondering if that's why lining with a brush is easier for us because you get more feedback from the brush. It actually takes less pressure to use the brush, which does give my hand a big break. I had to quit using color pencils. I used to love to color with color pencils. And I had to quit because my hand can't handle it. It takes too much pressure. Even coloring lightly, you know, just killed my hand. Plus it was like days and hours and hours and hours on a single, you know, image. With paint you can just get it done. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, well. Good night, Connie. Thank you for hanging out. Good night, Lisa. Happy Halloween. Thank you. Oops, <laughs> get carried away. It needs to have wings, right? <laughs> the eyeliner with wings. There's a little tiny hair on the tip of my brush that's longer than the others. Alright, let's see if we can do a pupil. I'm just going to use the end of this 
brush. Right there. Nice. That worked good. See, you use the tools around you, right? <laughs> okay, white pen. This is also available in the store. Sorry, it's on white paper. Can't see if it's working. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. That's the opals, if you're wondering. I just picked them up. Pretty. Oh, my butt is, you know, it's been sitting here too long. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some white where I feel like I want some. I'll wait. I'll wait for that part to dry. Sorry, when it zoomed in, I can't see <laughs> where, where I'm at. I apologize. It's off camera again. You can see the little white marks I'm making. Just kind of where, where the yellow is the brightest. I'm just putting some little highlights. These are not in the image, but I'm just, I don't know, just plain. <laughs> I have to go back and do that. The ones around the eye, maybe. Uh-oh, looks like I lost my connection. Are y'all still with me? Was I gone? Am I back? Am I gone? Can you hear me? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Betty. Okay, good. My camera just said, you're live, like I just went live. Crazy thing. Hi, Dini. Good. I gotta wait for that eye to dry and then we'll put the eye shine in there. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. 
Thank you, thank you. So that's the one for today. This is the one I did before. I think I see some more places I want some white around the wing here. Oh, the this, this special part. Thank you, Lori. <laughs> Don't forget to sign your work. And my eye is still wet. Let's see if I can blot it. There we go. Eye shine wakes everything up, doesn't it? So nice. So what do you guys think? No glitter, no glam. Um, you could definitely dress yours up with some shimmer. You could use, you know, your fancy watercolors. I, you know, what would be beautiful on this is to, like, bring in, if you have the new velvet chrome velvet holograph paints is to bring some of that shimmer around uh, your seahorse if you wanted you could add in you know your little highlights but what you need to do is spray your image first this one has been sprayed so I'm going to do it on this one over here so we could see Fun. Now when you spray it, it becomes waterproof, so you want to <laughs> use your spray or your watercolor a bit thicker when you're working on top of the waterproof 2x matte. And sometimes it just uh, won't work. But you can add a coat of gesso after you've sprayed let that spray dry really really well you could add a coat of gesso let it dry and then you have a workable surface again or absorbent ground but my paint if you uh, activate it and then work with it very opaque, thick. You can paint on top of waterproof areas with it, just like you could acrylic. So see how you can add in that sparkle factor there? And you don't have to do the whole, just add it where you want it. You know, I kind of like this, um, you know how water beads, or your paint beads up on waterproof surfaces? I kind of like that look on Seahorse, because it gives, you know, almost like chicken skin. But I'm using it thicker here so you can see, see the beading. And I'm going to leave it like that, because I like that. I like that look. I'm going to let it dry that way. Grab the green hollow chrome holographic chrome velvet. These are not activated, so 
I'm literally just rubbing the wet rock water on the top of the pan of paint. And these are loaded with glitter. So the more you activate it, the more glitter you'll see. <laughs> and you don't see the glitter really on these when they're not activated. See, you see very little. But when you activate them, the glitter floats up. And there is tons of glitter. Let me put it on black so you can see that. Look at this. The cool thing is, guys, that's watercolor paint. Look how opaque and glittery that is. Crazy. I know. Those are some of my favorite paints I've ever made. Anyways, I just want to add a little bit of that in the eye. Just I don't if you've ever looked at uh, seahorse eyes, they have like this starburst kind of business going on in there. And it's cool looking. Anywho. So that's some fun things you can do. All right, guys, that's all I got for you tonight. I could keep going, but it would be six hours. <laughs> oh, the opal stuck on there. That's pretty. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Phyllis. Thank you, everyone, so much for hanging out with me on this Halloween Monday night. Uh, we'll be back with you on Wednesday. Katie and I, um, in our Facebook group, Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques, come and check us out. Be sure to like and subscribe, please, if you enjoyed your time here tonight. And go subscribe to rockin.kk. Help her get to uh, 1,000 so she can do some lives over there. All right. Good night, everyone. Bye. One more. Sorry, this is the one we did. <laughs> Hi, crazy. Okay, now peace out.